Hello, Noelle McKenzie coming to you from Fitness Away of Life, and I'm here today at Fitfluential Moves to offer you a very basic exercise routine that you can do from anywhere. Now, one of the things I want to address first is the whole intimidation factor. A lot of people, especially if you're completely new to exercise, feel overwhelmed when you go to the gym and you're surrounded by people who are also trying to get in shape. Maybe they've been working out longer than you, and it can all be very intimidating. What we want to show you today is that you don't need to have a gym, you don't need to have a lot of space, and you don't need to have a lot of time to get a good solid routine in. All you need is your own body weight, a little floor space, and a chair to execute this workout. All right, so here we go. I'm going to show you how it's done. The first move that I'm going to demonstrate for you is called sit and stance. Now with this move, all you need, like I said, is a chair or if you have, like I, in this case, a chest that's elevated off the ground. Okay, so you want to start with your feet shoulder width apart and all you want to do is bring your arms in front of you and you're going to lower into a seated position and then you're going to come back up to a stand. And as you lower, you want to make sure that you keep your hips back like you would in a squat. Make sure your, your knees are behind your toes as you lower and make sure you're resting at the bottom of the seated position, okay, before you come back up. Now, the reason why this is really nice is it's great for beginners, especially for those of you who have knee problems. You're not going to have any pain here because you don't have the same resistance that you would have in doing a squat. And it's also great if you're at work and you're at a desk all day and you need to figure out a way to keep yourself active. You can just simply do these from your chair. Or if you're at home and you have an infant that you obviously need to keep with you at all times, this is also good because you can carry your infant in your one hand and you don't have any weights on the other side, so it's, it's very basic. All you need to do is keep your feet shoulder width apart and just lower up and down like so. The second move I'm going to demonstrate for you is called knee pull-in. So you're seated on your chair. You're gonna have your arms on either side of you and you're gonna just pull your knees into your chest, alternating each leg. As you pull in, you're gonna be engaging your quads, so your legs, as well as your stomach, contracting your abs each time your foot leaves the ground. The third move I'm going to demonstrate for you is for your core. You're going to lay on a flat surface. You can either use a mat or just a floor. And you're going to lay on your back. You're going to bring your fingertips on either side of you and your feet. You're going to try to have your feet evenly spaced on the floor about shoulder width apart. You're going to elevate your chest and your head, contract your stomach, and you're going to reach side to side for the heels of your feet, trying to touch. The fourth move I'm going to demonstrate for you is wall push-ups. So you're going to start with your fingertips, shoulder width apart, and you want to back yourself away from the wall so that your arms are fully extended. You want to have your feet planted on the floor, also spaced it up shoulder width, and you're going to lean your chest into the wall, and you're going to push off, as if you're trying to push your body weight away from the wall. So you're extending or pushing into the wall, and then bringing your arms back out to where you started. This is a really great exercise for your chest and your triceps, okay? And it's really great if you haven't ever done a push-up before, this is a really good place for you to start. The last move that I'm going to demonstrate for you today is also designed for your core. So you're going to lay on your back, bring your arms overhead, and you're going to extend your legs in front of you and raise yourself up six inches off the ground. Hold for about 10 counts, keeping everything as straight as you can, and then you're going to release and lower. So there we have it, a total body workout incorporating five exercises that can be applicable anywhere that is convenient for you. This is great if you're just starting out and need something to motivate you to get started on your exercise program. We encourage you to visit our Twitter page, our Facebook page, our YouTube channel where you can check out our beginner playlist and you can also see Marie's video which is one of our clients as we demonstrate with her, again, how to work out when you're a busy mom on the go and you don't have a lot of time on your hands.
Your fitness progress doesn't have to end here. Subscribe to Fitfluential on YouTube for more workout videos and check us out on Twitter and Facebook.